welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, When God Hides from Me. Behold, I go forward, but he's not there, and backward, but I cannot perceive him. On the left hand, where he doth work, but I cannot behold him. He hideth himself on the right hand, that I cannot see him, but he knoweth the way that I take. When he hath tried me, I shall come forth as pure gold. Job 23, 8 through 10. Children have a most unique way of entertaining themselves. In spite of all the toys and technology available to them, they still find pleasure in simple games. Well, maybe when I was growing up more than even now. Back then, we used to play cricket, dandy shandy, and after watching action movies, we would play what we call gunwar. But perhaps no other game is as well known to the children of every generation as the game we call hide and seek. Even a little baby is fascinated when you use your hands to cover your face and reveal it. But when God tries to play hide-and-seek, however, it seems to lose the fun. The reason is simple. God is a good hider. As you know the story of Job, Job was a very faithful man who served God. He never made a challenge to God about Job, and as a result, Job lost his riches, family, and even his health. We need to understand this, though. God's hide-and-seek was not a punishment. The devil would have you to believe that when God hides from you, it's because he's either mad at something you did or ashamed of you. But in the case of Job, God's hiding was simply the result of a challenge from Satan. But you see, God's confidence in his servant said, I may hide, but Job will never give up seeking me. It may seem to you that God is playing hide and seek from you, but don't let the devil convince you that God is mad at you for something you've done or that he's embarrassed by your actions. I speak from personal experience when I say, nothing you do can make God love you any more, and nothing you do can make him love you any less. It is absolutely imperative for us to understand that God's love is perfect and unconditional. Nothing can be more frustrating than looking helplessly for a missing item. You know you put it at a particular spot, but then someone must have come along the way and move it. I have that feeling whenever time I put something down and I can't find it. I just by default believe it's my wife who moved it. Now let's analyze how do we look. The first place to look is the most logical place to find him. Job said, behold, I go forward. How do we do this? We start praying more. We start fasting more. We start reading our Bibles more. We move forward in our attempt to draw nearer to God. But then he's still not there. In the other three directions, Job said, I can't find him. What am I saying? Well, simply this. You may have tried everything within your human power to find God, to draw closer to God, to make connections with God. And still, after all this seeking, God remains hidden in this spiritual hide and seek. But Job said, he know the way that I take. Now, this is key right here. Hearing lies the secret to God's game of hide and seek. Brothers and sisters, it's not always about finding him. I understand the scripture tells us that we'll find him when we seek him with all our hearts. I realize that the scripture tells us, Blessed are those that do hunger and thirst, for they shall be filled. But it is not always about finding him. Sometimes it's about me realizing that even though I've done everything in my power to find him and to no avail, he knows where I am. The secret, my friend, in all of this is a five-letter word, which is trust. When God plays hide and seek, it can be frustrating. I've known the desperation of seeking God, who had hidden himself from me so well that I could not find him. But it is in these times, in these moments, that I have to take comfort in the fact that God is not hiding because he's angry with me. He's not hiding because he's ashamed of me. Job was able to win in the end because irrespective of the fact that he could not find God, he trusted God through all that was happening. Child of God, you may be praying, you may be fasting, you may be being so faithful in your ministry, but yet you don't see God showing up. Don't worry about not being able to find him. Take comfort in the fact of knowing that God knows where you are. The thought of the day. Take comfort in the fact of knowing that no matter how far you are, God can find you. God bless you today. In Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.
the dark 